right, so today we're gonna to talk about signal flow, and signal flow is how, when I plug in the mic, it goes through the whole system and comes out of the speakers. And so one of the things we wanna keep in mind when we're talking about signal flow are three words, mic, line, and speaker, right? So we've already created a track, so it's gonna start first with plugging in the mic. So we already plugged in the mic, and that's where it starts off with mic, right? And so keeping in mind those three levels of power, mic, line, and speaker, to boost it to the next level of power, which is line, we have to use a preamp, and this is the preamp right here. It's a mic pre, and it boosts the gain of the microphone to that next level of power. In this case, we turn up the mic pre right here. The signal goes through the channel, and along with the fader and the preamp, is com or those are combined together, and that's the signal that we send into Pro Tools or whatever doll that we're working with. So just kind of keep in mind, the preamp could be off of your interface, it could be, you know, a standalone preamp, whatever it happens to be. And so that's the first thing we're going to do is turn up that mic, right? All right, so we plugged in the mic, we turned up the preamp, right, boosted it to the next level of power line. We store the information at line level, whatever doll that we're working in, right? And so then the next thing we need to do is get it out of our DAW, our tape machine, right? And so in this case, we selected output one, which shows up in the monitor return section right here. So that way we can monitor the sound that, we, that we're recording, right? So in this case, it comes over to the monitor return section and we have to choose the stereo link up here because no matter how many tracks we record, right, it ends up on two tracks or two channels. And so by selecting the stereo link here, it, it puts it over to the stereo bus, which then feeds it to the speakers, right? So again, mic, line, and speaker.